Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back along to something a little bit different. You join me, Jack O'Brien, here. It is the next episode of Grass and Grain, really. We're back, and, uh, well, we're not getting on with the grass or grain at the moment because it is raining. Uh, so we're, we're somewhere where we haven't been before. We're up in the hills, and we're actually cutting a bit of gravel from this, where they've been digging into this hillside here. Uh, and we're about... Well, what we're trying to do, oh, easy now, is um, we're carting this stone back down towards to our old buildings over at the, um, down in the valley there, uh, because there, are, there is going to be some work done to resurrect those buildings, uh, and we need to just try and do what we can, uh, but we're going to have a look into, there's a bit of work to do to try and save them, and there's a bit of a plan, uh, so to make the most of that, we are here, uh, the quarry man has let us actually cut some, this is waste stone that they can't really use for anything useful. Uh, so we're here to take it away, uh, and that means that we get to use this rather beastly and impressive, uh, Torian reel loader, which is huge, far too big for that one there. Uh, but yeah, so we're getting kind of getting the grips of this. Uh, it looks like they came in there and they chiseled a little bit of the rock out of this uh, out of the hillside here. Um, and so yeah, I think that's pretty much just done. So we're gonna stop this here. It's pouring down rain. It has been for about a day and a bit there. Uh, but a quick look at that before we get wet. There, it's huge. This bucket on the front is great because it can grade as well. But I haven't really got a chance to play with it. Oh, get back in, get back in, get back in. Perfect. Nice looking Hitachi there as well. It's 29 ton, I do believe. Beautiful looking machine. We took the silage sides off this trailer because we needed it. Uh, and they had a crusher in here to break up this rock. And this is kind of the, the stuff that's below grade, stuff that they can't really use very much. Uh, so we're going to take it. Uh, so uh, we go. Hold on. But I don't know quite what the plan is in there once they've extracted all of that. Uh, all that stone, that's not really my problem either. We'll figure that one out later on down the line, I'm sure. Uh, but off we go. So we're in the fence again. The the rest of the team, they're around for a little bit, but it's been raining all day. It's about 3 o'clock in the afternoon now, so there really wasn't much that they could do, so I sent them home. Uh, I'm just going to work on with this. Uh, this is the first load we're taking down. Uh, and we're just going to stockpile it out of the yard right now. Uh, it's going to be a little bit of a plan. We should have probably gone the other way, but I thought we'd... Take the long road, see what's happening with some of the uh, uh, barley which has started to come through nicely. That's going to need some treatment when the rain stops there. We're going to have to get on and uh, get some post immersion on there. And also, it looks like we can get on with our tier 1 there now as well, which will give it a little bit of a kick. Uh, a lot of weeds in there that need to be tamed as well. So, that's a job for another day. Uh, but yeah, ultimately, so hey, silage is on pause. Not a lot we can do in a day like this with that. Uh, easy now, easy. But that being said, it's good growing weather for the grass, so we can get a good second cut out here eventually. That would be the, the, the plan. Let's take that time around here. And over we go. So how have you been anyway? It's been a week and a bit since we last spoke. I hope everything is well. Do let me know down below what you have been getting up to. I'll try and read those comments and simulation posts this uh, video when you can. But yeah, let us know what's going on there. Oh, easy, easy. In you go. Yeah, it's been busy. We've been doing lots of bits and pieces, really. A uh, little bit of work for the customers, getting grass work done. No mowing or anything, but a lot of like, fertilizer spread and a little bit of digestive spreading as well flurry here and there, get the combine ready, ours is pretty much ready to go. Oh, where possible you get asked to do little bits and pieces, so we're, we're ready to kind of put ours to work and do any custom work that might come in. I think I mentioned previously we have uh, kind of overstocked a little bit uh, in terms of capacity, so if the option's there to do some better contract work, we will look to try and do that, so that's going to be interesting. Uh, but yeah, we'll see really. Uh, this rain is supposed to be only like, we still haven't got some of our bales and as you can see that they might end up getting stacked up in the field actually. Uh, this rain is supposed to carry on all day today, so we're going to try and get as much stone out as we can now. Uh, while it's, whilst it's nice and uh, relatively dry. As you saw from where we were there, it wasn't too bad to get into that area. Um, 
It wasn't too muddy. It's pretty much straight onto the stone, so we should be okay. Uh, okay, and what we're gonna do... We're gonna start by putting this over here. Like, now these old buildings, you may remember from when the original flood came in. But the, I mean, this, the dry is done for. That needs to be removed, sadly. That's gone. Um, the, this old shed needs to be completely knocked down and start again. Um, but, more... You may remember that all this area was gone. We're just gonna leave this here and jump out, I think. Uh, and the flood water came up to about up to about here, really, uh, and all the way across. So everything this height or above was fine. These old buildings, the house there, fortunately, all good. This bit here was not. So the plan in place right now is to try and raise up some of this ground here now. We know that we need to knock down some of these buildings here. They're just gone. That's what it is unfortunately uh, those old stone buildings might stay there but we'll probably build around those to be honest uh the silage pits well they've all been shifted anyway knocked out a line they can even be knocked down slurry lagoon to be filled in this wall is all gone this shed structurally is okay but it's a bit low so we might build around that one not knock that down because it's an expense that we don't need to fare and if it doesn't rain this can still be used if not by me really but someone can still use that the shed, well, the shed's kind of, it's still standing, but it's a bit low. We've got a lot of junk here still. Um, and yeah, this is all below where we want it to be. So what we're going to try and do is utilize as much as possible. Uh, now, we might not actually build a farm down here, but this is our land. We're going to build this all up, knock down these old buildings here, take the grain dryer out. We are looking to try and find a way to get a grain dryer at the new place. Uh, operationally, mechanically, it's done for. It got too much water in there. There's corrosion. There's uh, a lot of rust forming through some of the uh, the walls of it. It's not going to work. The grain elevator is about sea solid and shock. So uh, realistically, it's not going to do anything. So yeah, that'll be our plan uh, to take that all down and then build out a big enough pad that can be used to build onto. And then we might look into residential um, properties from there if we can sell this off. So. That's kind of what we're thinking, but for us to get even close to that, we need to make this um, floodproof, really. So we're going to build up a bit of a raised area, a bit of a bund, uh, with rock. And then we can kind of build the foundations of the houses into that area as well. So that's the plan there. Uh, we'll see how that comes together. We... Oh, actually, um... Uh... Our reef's not looking too bad here at all, is it? That's come on leaps and bounds. Uh, get out of here, crows. Your biggest pain. Birds and slugs at the moment. Biggest pain on this uh, crop. But it's looking pretty tasty. And nice and even. Uh, good leaves down there. We really need to get in with some... Uh, with some broadleaf as well. We need to get that sprayed off. And then we'll also... Uh, yeah, we'll also try and keep an eye on this as well. Make sure that we can get it kicked on. The rain here will do it some good actually, so that'd be quite nice to get that one all taken care of. But yeah, like I said, we're going to jump into the fence anyway, we're going to tip the first load just on the side of the field here for now. We're going to try and get as many loads in as we can. Uh, and then from there we can build this all up and just... We've got someone coming to give you a price to knock down these buildings. We might try and do it ourselves to be honest. Uh, see how that all goes. Uh, here we go. But yeah, it is an option that we can try and just rent the machine to do it ourselves. Like that excavator that we've just seen parked up, well, that would be pretty good for it, for sure. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see what we can find. But for now, like I say, the main job is just making sure that we get all of this um, cut down. This is all free to us as well, so we've got to use it as much as possible. Uh, we will need to br uh, buy some stone to bring that in, but like I say right now, if we can get away with doing this, well, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Excellent. Uh... There's no better price than free, put it that way. Zip around. Excellent stuff. And we'll take this back on it. We're going to do a few more loads. Pick the fence today just because it's... I love this fence. It's a grand tractor. It's doing me no harm whatsoever there, and it's just proven to be very reliable. It's good on the road, it's comfortable on the road. You never really need to have to worry about it either. And it's great for uh, trailer work, actually. Here we go. What doesn't help, though, is when you're stuck behind the blooming traffic again.
Well, that's the uh, that's the neighbor. Give him a little wave. Uh, we're gonna go up this way, I think. Nick up the side road there. So yeah, like I say, there must be close part of about 300 turn of this spoil, uh, or kind of like, um, it's almost like shale really. Uh, but we're going to take that all off. Uh, we'll probably just down here, I think. Ooh, there we go. Uh, cut as much of that away as we can do. I've been told that they're going to try and do some more blasting, where they're going to chip more, rock out the, uh, the, the side tomorrow. So they want as much of this cleaned out as possible right now. I won't get it all done by any stretch. But we'll certainly get a fair bit of it done, um, and we'll make the most of that. And yeah, so it, it will give us a good starting point as well. Uh, we'll just build like a solid raised pad around the yard, uh, knock down that other place, and see what it looks like from there. Really, uh, and we should, we should be okay. I hope. We'll have to wait and see. But yeah, it's, I've been looking at it for a while to see if we can get any ideas going on what to use this place for. And this game is a great opportunity, really, because uh, otherwise it was going to be very wasted. Uh, the buildings weren't going to get to do anything. Um, the land we were always going to try and get back on farming, but it's, uh, those buildings seem a shame to waste. Some I was very reluctant to move my own equipment down there, purely because I had to replace a lot of it. So didn't want to think about doing that again after the flooding. So we've, uh, we'll stay up on the hill where it's safe and dry. But yeah, that's not going to rule us out from any potential options moving forward. Come on, get up here. It certainly hasn't stopped uh, or let up in the rain at all. It's absolutely relentless. We'll have another trailer on here, but it took me a while to get these silage sides off. I didn't really want us to do that again. So we left those on, the other one. Because there will be more silage to come, and I didn't want us to keep messing around with those. Uh, see how that... Uh, back on trying to get that all done, so... We'll just get it done with this guy here, I think. And let's just stick on our beacons. As you can see, there's quite a bit in there. Take it around, get a bit more luck on there. All right, that'll do. So you can say this is uh, Hitachi, it's a very nice smart machine, doesn't look like it's got too much work to it either. Uh, it's kind of nice, and you can see where they're blasting through, I think they're going to take this lump off here next. Uh, but yeah, in we go. Nice little uh, vantage point from up here, I must say, this is really, really nice. Uh, nice clear cab, you've got everything you need on this one side here, on the pillar and the pider. Uh, with a pretty decent looking view as well. Uh, and then, yeah, just about enough space to turn this thing around in here. But yeah, plenty of power. You could almost keep pushing through that heap there, I reckon. Uh, okay. Down we go again. Oh, I've got the bottom open a bit. There we go. So this bucket is fantastic because it is a technically like a four-in-one bucket there. So you get plenty of different jobs done with it. You can grade level with it. Not the easiest thing to grade level when you're on the wheels, but you can really uh, give it a bit of a go. Uh, like a track excavator or a crawler loader would be better for that, depending upon what you call it. But this does all right. And it's nice stuff that. Ooh, baby, there you go, get down there. Okay. 
And then you can see if I pull that down there. Really nice operating bucket. I'm very impressed with this. Okay. It's nice to play in someone else's toys now and again, you know? Not mine, I wouldn't... We've obviously got the uh, Class Scorpion, which is great, so... The uh, joysticks here are a little bit different, some of the functionality is the same. But this big guy here was originally based on a Liebherr, I think. Um, so yeah, that's where it gets most of its controls from. Ooh. Must be even this stone. There must be a good few tons in here, I reckon. Oh, excellent. Certainly got some power to uh, to push through, and then also to lift the bucket without any any issue whatsoever. So this might be it as well, less load. Hoping as well that the rain we're having now, we get this out of the way, it's supposed to be today and tomorrow, then we're supposed to get some um, kind of overcast weather, and then we're supposed to get a, a fair bit of decent weather actually, which I'm really hoping comes through. Oh, maybe get one more in there. Because that's what we're going to try and get some more build silage done for a neighbor. Uh, so that would be pretty good if we can get that done. Oh, wrong way, there we go. Uh, we'll be off with the uh, with the square bale again, and then there's some wrapping work for a local farmer. He we're just waiting to see if actually he's ready to go because I never keep get I never quite get the word back that it's all uh, that he's ready to mow it down. So uh, he's going to be baling everything himself. He just wants me to come in and have a bit of a play. We might be having a demonstration coming up soon as well of a of a what well, is actually a bit of a second hand baler, but it's something that's intrigued me. We haven't had one of those for a while. Oh, I missed a bit of that. Yeah, get out. Uh, so yeah, it's certainly something we'll have a look into, and I will let you know more about that as soon as we do, because, well, it's on hold right now because it's raining still. Uh, let's just get this all tied up here. Happy days. All right, well, we'll leave that there. Oh, this is miserable, miserable, miserable. Right. Oh, off we go again. Yeah, this way now. It seems to be a much faster way. Bounce, bounce. I like this little cabin here. I don't know what it's going to be used for or what it does get used for, but nice little quaint thing. Okay. Even got this uh, old girl cleaned out inside there, it's looking immaculate now. It really, really is. Absolutely delightful. That's that field there that we need to get bailed up soon. Once as soon as that dries, that's ready to go. We desperately just need that to to dry up a little bit. Uh... Oh come on! Oh, and with that then, the traffic's going to be a bit of a pain for us today. So brilliant driving, brilliant driving. We are going to leave it here. I think we're just going to keep on leading down. You'll see what happens with that building as we get through it. Uh, there's going to be a few changes to that over, and there's some more updates to it really over the coming days and weeks, so keep an eye out for that one, and we will keep you abreast of everything that is going on. Uh, for now though, like I say, we'll leave it here. Thank you ever so much for watching. I have been Jack O'Brien, I hope you have enjoyed. If you have and you've yet to do so, don't forget to hit the like button. Smash that subscribe button to join Simulation for the Nation, who very kindly agrees to host everything. And we will see you in the next one, where hopefully it's not raining. And hopefully we're back on the grass. Until then, though, have yourself a great day. Enjoy what you're doing as always, and we'll catch you all later.